Hello, fashionistas. We're not in the closet. We're actually in the special office of Dr. Jacqueline Royce, a board-certified plastic surgeon. And what we're doing for all of you who watch us on the Facebook page and on the Canine Chronicle web page is today we're going to be discussing Botox and facial fillers. A very interesting topic about which I know very little, but she's an amazing expert on the subject. And so we're going to cover it all, from all the different products that are available and all the different procedures that can be done, how you do them, what's being done, and what might be right for you. And so, without further ado, I bring Dr. Jackie into the picture, and she's going to work her magic. Hi there. So I'm Dr. Jacqueline Royce. I'm a board-certified plastic surgeon. I've been in practice over 20 years. I'm also a dog lover, and a lot of folks know me from the dog shows as just Dr. Jackie. So, but today we're done showing and we're going to do a little Botox. Um, it's a wonderful product. It's great to prevent migraines. Um, it's great to um, minimize a droop sometimes on the side of the face. But it also just makes you look good and feel good. So that's a wonderful thing. So today I have my first patient, Donna, who gets migraines and do a little angry face for me and gets a little bit of lines. She's been getting Botox and the longer you continue with Botox treatments, the less your lines become. Usually Botox lasts three or four months, but the longer you keep doing it, the longer it lasts for you. So it's a wonderful product. I have some patients who only get a treatment once a year because that's all they need. So, but we're going to do Botox today for Donna and she also has, I'll show in a little bit, she has a little um, nerve injury on the side of her face and we're going to treat that too with Botox so she doesn't have a droop on the corner of her mouth. And that's a good thing, right? Because that bothers you. <laughs> okay. So Dr. Jackie, one question I have and that is, so Botox, Botox is really multifunctional. I mean, it's everything from medicinal purposes and also aesthetic purposes. Absolutely. And that the same exact product is used for all of these things. Absolutely. It's, it's the penicillin of our age. It treats, it treats medical issues. It prevents migraines. Um, it actually is used, I don't use these injections, but it's used for tracheal um, stenosis. It's used for bladder spasms. But it's also used, it makes... Yeah, for excessive sweating, underarm sweating, a l number of our our handlers, we have to be all dressed up and wearing suits and everything. And if you have um, hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating, you ruin your clothes. But Botox stops you from sweating there so much. Ah, the blessings of modern medicine. You so, go work your magic, man. It is a wonderful thing. So important, I always tell all my folks, it's very important to use cosmetic grade Botox. There's actually a research grade that's not as purified. So I always use, and my patients all know here, that I always use the cosmetic grade. Um, and it comes, actually, I'm going to show, it comes actually frozen. And it looks like there's nothing in a bottle. This I just took out of the fridge. And I don't know if you can see that. It's like just a little white ring on the bottom. It looks like it's empty, but it's not. It's got 100 units of Botox in here. And it is important when you go to other docs, um, or if you go to me, my patients know, that you don't want a doctor diluting this Botox too much because you're gonna think you're getting a lot of product, but you're not. It just looks like a lot of liquid because it's just a lot of water. So I have to mix up a little more for Donna. The Allergan, the Botox company, recommends just one cc of saline to mix up in 100 units. So it's not diluted up. And saline is like salty water? Yes. So this is sterile injectable saline. And I do just one cc. I don't over dilute things. And but one cc, not, if I recall, is just a teeny, eeny, weeny bit. It's not much. It's one milliliter. So, and one cc and 100 units of Botox. And it mixes up real quick. And now we got liquid in there. 
and that's our nice concentrated Botox. So, because I already took all the Botox out of there. Oh, hold on one thing. That's quite a little setup. All that stuff that mechanics <laughs> usually use, Dr. Jackie. Yes, this is my... And probably the easiest thing to keep clean and wipe down. What and, a great idea. And I got all my stuff in here. All my all my needles and syringes and things that I need. And I have to dispose a suture if need be. So, But I don't even like to stick a needle in the rubber cap when I give folks their Botox. Because it dulls the needle a little bit. So I will actually pop the little cap off sterilely and draw up a little more fresh Botox for Donna. Only the best for you, Donna. Yes. And it's a little teeny insulin needle. You can hardly see it. And what Dr. Jackie means by an insulin needle, if I, if I recall correctly, it's just a very small needle, doesn't hold the large amount, and the actual needle size is very small as well. Correct, correct. And then Botox stays refrigerated after it's, it's mixed up. So it goes right back in the refrigerator. So first of all, it's important when you get your Botox also, you know, I want to get consent from my patients. I want to make sure my patient is not pregnant. No, I'm not pregnant. Okay. And doesn't have any um, muscular dystrophy or myasthenia gravis disorders, muscle disorders, because that's contraindicated for Botox. Um, and she doesn't have any of those. So thank you for doing that. And then also, I give instructions on what not to do after mm -hmm. Botox. For four hours, you want to keep your head up. You want to not get hot and sweaty outside. You can't go show a dog now. Okay, just for four hours, because then it sets. Okay. And then you can do whatever you want. And so that's your little instruction sheet. And then you can do whatever you want. The Botox takes a week to kick in, though. It doesn't, it's not immediate, as opposed to fillers, which are immediate, but <clears throat> and what about swelling, Dr. Jackie? Will there be swelling at the sites? Little teeny. And that's why I'm going to get out. I have a nice cold pack for her. So you get a little teeny swelling, usually just like for five minutes. And what about bruising? Hopefully very little. <laughs> but you can get a bruise. You can get a little bruise. Especially someone who might be on blood thinners. But I still have patients who are on blood thinners and, and they don't get a bruise. So... But it can happen, and so that's a possibility. So, and also just to, you know, there's lots of uses for Botox, and um, not only is it great for the 11s, for the angry muscles there, but even, I'm gonna show you another patient, it's great for forehead lines, it's great for crow's feet, even we call them little bunny lines, the little squiggle lines on the nose, we call them little bunny lines, dimples in the chin, and also, I'm going to show on Donna, they call it a smile lift, but again, sometimes this muscle is weak and it causes a little droop, which will show on Donna, and the Botox helps to reverse that. So, it's a good thing. Plus the migraines that you mentioned that Donna yes. suffers from. Migraines. So first, I like to do a little sea breeze, and you resting on the Boston pillow. And a little sea breeze just to cleanse. And it just smells good. And, okay. And. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then a little coldy pack. Let me get a little cold water here in a second. And I want you to hold the coldy pack. Which, you got my name on it in case you forget about me. You got my name and number. And you hold it right there a second. And we're going to do about 20 units today to this area. It's called the glabella between the brow. And so when you say 20 units, that means 20 little jabs? Is that no. Okay, tell me what it means. No. It means the, 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 uh, 
the bottle that had a hundred units in it. Okay. I took just twenty of them. Okay. To so that's what's in the syringe. Correct. Okay. So just twenty of them. So it's about again if you're talking CCs, it's about about point two CCs or milliliter. Okay. Okay. Is that cold enough for you? Yep. All right. All right. So now, you lean back a little bit and do a little angry face. You can see those lines more on her right side and a little pinchy. A little pinch. Good job. A little pinch. Another little pinch. And I'm going to do a little one right in the middle. All done. Relax. And there's barely a mark. But you're going to do a little Colby pack again to help prevent the swelling or bruising. You okay? I'm fine. Absolutely fine. Good. And now also what you're going to do is for the next four hours, every 10 or 15 minutes, you're going to do a little angry face. Works the Botox in the muscle. Gives you a better result. And you just do the Colby pack for a few minutes, for five minutes. But we're going to do one other area on you. Mm-hmm. You can put that down. I have for you. I want to do the corner of your mouth. So you can see she's got a little droop. You know, it's a dental injury, nerve injury. So this muscle here, the pressor angularis, here you hold that a second. That muscle pulls the corner of the mouth down. So if I can relax that muscle, her other smile muscles will just pull it up and make it more symmetric. That's fascinating. I mean, just a wonderful opportunity to take something that, you know, it isn't even, you know, for vanity or anything else. It's just a really good way to correct yeah. something that inadvertently happened. Yeah, it, it absolutely is. So, so now for this area, turn your head a little bit that way. Yeah. And I want you to do, grit your teeth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right there. And... Pinch. And that's it. Perfect. And that was just five little units. Okay. Coldy pack. It's amazing how so such a, a, a little bit of product seems to do just a an lot. amazing amount of, 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 of volume in the space. It's a wonderful thing. Like I said, it's the, it's the panacea of our age. So I love it. It makes good. You can put your you can put your uh, mask back on. You okay? I'm absolutely fine. Marvelous! You did great. So remember, keep your head up for four hours. Can't get hot and sweaty outside, and do a little angry face. Okay. All righty. So it's Dr. Jackie again. Now with another patient, Kim, who gets horrible migraines and is here for her Botox. Also, she's gorgeous, but she wants to look a little better because when you raise your eyebrows up. She got these lines going on on her forehead. So, and you had Botox back in November. You had a little bit just recently, but I don't think they gave you very much. So, yeah. So we're gonna do a little Botox today. Very important again. For four hours, you gotta keep your head up, especially with forehead injections. You don't wanna be bending over a lot for these first four hours. But I would recommend a standard dose for you, which is 20 units, and we have our freshly Mixed Botox, concentrated. Hot from the refrigerator. <laughs> yes. Fresh, fresh. And Botox, you know, stays fresh. It honestly will be fresh even a couple of days, but it doesn't seem to last that long when it's, when I have it made. <laughs> so, we have a lot of folks that love their Botox. So, we're going to do a little sea breeze and just cleanse the skin again and remember it'll take a week to kick in it's not going to be immediate all right but you can lean back against the boston pillow and relax so dr jackie even mm. the relief from the migraines takes some while to set in correct so not just the corrective work for wrinkles and whatever it's anything you tend to do with the botox yeah i mean although people who've been getting botox a lot and like myself i i receive botox for migraine prevention even a day or two later i'll have relief of migraines okay. it won't take a week to hit, to have the full effect of that like it does with the lines so but it is 
It's a wonderful product. It Seems makes a world amazing. of difference. It makes a world of difference. So, all right, let's get your little coldy pack. And of course, in medicine, anytime we can do good, absolutely, that's what it's all about. It is, and you know, even if, if it's just for cosmetic, if it makes you feel good when you look in the middle, you're a happier person, and you're more functional, and you know, so it's all a good thing. Well, our 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 our, our psyches are as important as our physical. Appears. Absolutely, absolutely, cures depression too. Botox does. See. <laughs> All right, so you do a little coldy pack dab for me a second. Just dab around there. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. And nice and relaxed. And then you head back a little bit. Yeah. Now when I inject, I don't like to go too close to the brows because I can give you brow droop. So sometimes you still have a little bit of a line, but it's still going to help your headaches absolutely okay so do eyebrows up for me hold them up little pinchy little pinch little pinch hold them up relax a second relax do eyebrows up one more time perfect relax so she's got little teeny welts and they're going to go away in just five minutes with doing her little coldie pack. Well, that's, was, that's a really a, a really rapid response to that. And, and I noticed that neither Kim nor um, Donna in any way flinched or did anything else. It's almost as if it's seamlessly going in, to speak that in the best way that I can. Okay. Yes. It blends into the body and then it will do its magic. Which at the end... Hopefully, by doing this, it will make more people who question how difficult this is more receptive. Absolutely. If they're on the cusp of saying, I'm not sure I want to do this, and just to see that, that hearing about pain relief, or if you're doing it for cosmetic purposes, to Ooh. see that it's not a difficult it's and or painful thing to do. Not at all. And, and the other thing, and you know, so that's yours to have, you know, it's very safe, too. I mean, of course, receiving the Botox from the right hand from a board-certified plastic surgeon, it's very safe. It's it's not, you know, going to make you sick. It's it's not going to have any bad effects. And the other thing is, if you don't, for some rare reason, you don't like the effects of the smoothing of the lines, it's going to go gone. away in three or four months. Well, I think what you said about, about when you do have these kinds of procedures, you make sure you are dealing with a board-certified physician yes. who has a medical license and not somebody who just can buy the product and then inject it into you. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And all your years of experience brings a whole other level to it besides being board certified. And I enjoy doing this for everybody. You know? It makes people feel good. Makes me feel good. And help prevent headaches because I suffer from them myself. If it can help you with your headaches, that would be a wonderful thing. You okay? Good. Well, fashionistas, I'm sure we can agree, Dr. Jackie gave us a comprehensive view of things we need to know, and being able to give us all that information is an amazing gift, and we cannot thank Dr. Jackie enough, and besides being a fabulous surgeon, Dr. Jackie, you have proved yourself to be an amazing educator, and like everybody else in the dog world, we love you, Dr. Jackie.